Hello and welcome to Just One More Watch. Welcome today to my review of the brand new, but not exactly brand new watch by one of my favorite micro brands, Dorenzo. Dorenzo are owned and operated by Sergio Dorenzo, who unlike a lot of brand owners, actually designs the watches himself. Indeed, the whole company is a real labor of love for him. And in some ways, this watch, the DRZ02R, represents his brand now coming full circle because it is a gentle reworking of not his first release, but his second release, the DRZ02, oddly enough. And that watch was really the watch that came to define the brand style. This watch also represents the completion of a circle for me because the original DRZ02 was the first of Sergio's watches that I reviewed back in 2018. So it's gonna be interesting personally to see what elements of that design he's chosen to change and what elements remain true to the original watch in this one. Now you saw the pop-up. This video is sponsored by Dorenzo and I have already declared my bias. I'm a big fan of the brand and the watches. So if you don't think my words can be trusted today, then don't listen to them. Just turn the sound down and look at the pretty pictures. Let's flip the camera and get on with it. And my oh my, Aren't the pictures pretty? This is one of the most photogenic and charismatic watches that I've ever had the pleasure of filming. I'm sure you can see the dial is bold, as in B-O-W-L-E-D. It curves up at the edges, and it just seems to suck in light and then launch it back at you in an even more spectacular form as a consequence. I've taken a lot of macro footage of this one because I think it deserves it. And what do you think of the burnt orange color? Now, I know Dorenzo aren't the first to use this color. Zelos and Phoebus, amongst others, have used burnt orange dials recently to great success. I think it looks sensational. I think it could be one of the colors of 2024. Leave me a comment. Let me know what color you don't have in your collection already, but perhaps you're looking to add to your collection over the next year or so. Talking of which, let's roll quickly through the color options that are available with this one. I have the burnt orange, as you just saw. There is also a blue, a gray with yellow, which harks back to some of the original color variants of the DR02, a purple with white, which I'm sure will do well, and a more somber black if you like the look but want to wear it as a more understated daily. And then finally, there's a PVD black with black dial and red accents. If you have no interest whatsoever in being understated, that one looks pretty mad. They're only making 40 of those, so I'm sure they'll sell out fast. In fact, I'm sure all of these colors will sell out. They're doing no date and date versions of each one, by the way. They're launching on 15th of July, so set an alarm with production already underway and delivery expected in October. Pricing is 700 Swiss francs for the regular versions and 800 for the PVD version. I think that pricing is very fair. In fact, I think that pricing would still be very fair if they added 100 francs on top of it. As I said, I think these will sell out fast. Now, the packaging has changed slightly from previous Dorenzo models. It now comes in this branded box with all the social media QR codes printed on the side. The fabric watch roll remains the same, though, as does the two-year warranty. There is one option with this model. You can spec on a diver's clasp as well. It's the same clasp that was offered as an option on the DRZ04. If you prefer getting the exact fit on your watch using micro adjust holes, it's probably worth adding one of these onto your order. But personally, I don't think it's a must have. I'll show you the watch on both clasps over the course of the video. On to dimensions then. Now this is the DRZ02R, R standing for reduced. The old one was 41 mil in diameter with a 48 lug to lug and 22 mil lug width. The reduced is 39 mil in diameter, 44 mil lug to lug and 20 mil between the lugs. Thickness of 11.3 mil remains pretty much unchanged though. Now, 3944 may seem a little small if you prefer larger watches, but wait till you see it on wrist. It has a whack of presence. Watches like this with rectangular cases tend to wear larger than the on-paper dimensions suggest they will. And what else? Well, 100 meters of water resistance doubles the resistance rating of the original. It has flat sapphire with anti-reflective coating and sized up for my seven inch wrist, it weighs in at 147 grams. Now that is on the button Butterfly clasp, it weighs a few more grams on the diver's clasp, but only a few. The movement is a Salita SW200-1, but as a bonus, you get the elaborate grade. Now, it's between the case and the dial for the star of the show award today. The case on these is just beautiful. 316L stainless steel, but with a hardness coating on the case and the bracelet to help minimize scratches. 
This one's a prototype, so it has had a few wallops already having said that, but you can see, I hope, that the sides of the case are concave, which is very unusual. There's a high polish chamfer running end to end around the top that turns into a slight undercut, non-polished though on the bottom edge. The main case and the upper surface are both horizontally brushed, and it's a really nice fixed bezel securing that sapphire. Now the bezel goes brush polish brush, angling out from the case brushed, vertical polish to the sides, and then angling back in towards the sapphire with a brush finish. And it looks like a fairly thick piece of glass because it has that frosted chamfer to the edge and integrates nicely with the bezel. Crown's very simple, just over 6mm, doesn't screw down, but I'm not bothered because of the 100m, and it features a loom-filled circle, matching the circles at 3, 6 and 9 on the dial. It's such an unusual case shape overall, I've only seen one previous watch that looked anything like it, and that was the DRZ02. But the DRZ02 didn't come with a bracelet, and this one does, and it suits the watch perfectly. Now it may have 20mm between the lugs, but the bracelet flares out from the case at 28mm before tapering all the way down to 18 at your choice of clasp. Now these are just single links, but they are short, meaning you get more of them, meaning you get more articulation and a better fit therefore. Screws hold them all together and half links are provided, so if you do stick with the butterfly and not option this diver's clasp, you should get a decent fit. But this is what the diver's clasp looks like, milled upper, milled lower, four holes of micro adjust and Dorenzo branded. I played around with both, I ended up sticking with the butterfly, just like I do with my 04. And it's a good looking watch from the back as well, with a nicely integrated display case back, with the brand logo printed on the centre. The movement also has a custom Dorenzo rotor. Now the elaborate grade is adjusted from the Salita factory to three positions, at plus or minus seven seconds per day, but with a maximum permitted variance of plus or minus ten per day. Sergio told me that he personally adjust movements if they are running at more than plus or minus 10 seconds per day. So not only does he design the watches, but he does all his own shipping and packing, and he also hand tunes the movement if they need it. Again, this is why we buy micro brands, because you just don't get that level of attention to detail and personal service elsewhere. 26 dual hacking and hand winding Swiss Auto, by the way, with a roughly 40 hour power reserve and a 4 hertz beat rate, just in case you weren't aware. And that's all very nice, but let's get back to the dial and hands. And they are similar, but not identical to the dial and hands of the original 02 from 2018. It's a sandwich dial, so the triangle, the circles, and the lines that are the hour markers are all recessed and fully loomed, as you'll see in a minute. One welcome change from the original is that this watch features printed minute markers, but not printed fifth of a minute markers. I think they would have crowded the smaller dial, plus I've never really understood why brands do that on watches that aren't chronographs anyway, it just doesn't make sense. Another change is that the handset are now skeletonized, and one very neat little touch, if you watch the second hand with its circular lollipop tip, not only does it trace the recessed circular line that runs from 1 to 5 and then again from 7 to 11, but when it passes over the porthole date at 6 with its properly colour matched date wheel, by the way this one is burnt orange for example, the lollipop tip sits right in the middle of the porthole. So a circle in a circle in a circle in a circle. Very, very nice design. And this burnt orange colour variant with its circular brushing and its fume gradient just loves the light. It loves to show off a bit. I wouldn't describe it as garish, but combined with the rectangular case and the broad bracelet, this one has a ton of presence. It's up to you to decide whether the orange dial means it now has too much presence. More on that later. It looks good after dark too. When I first saw the original, I thought the patterns reminded me of those alien crop circles that suddenly appear in farmers' fields. Perhaps you can see what I mean, all the more so after dark, I think. Do you know, I work with somebody who claims they were abducted by two aliens. He's actually quite famous for it, appearing in several books and several documentaries. Of course, they were female aliens, and of course they wanted him for procreational purposes. Of course they did. Those damn sexy aliens are all the same, only after one thing. Anyway, when I turn the speed up on this one, the BGW9 does hang on well until the end of the test. And do bear in mind, this is just a prototype. I'm sure the loom on production units will be just as good, if not slightly better. And let's finish with some wrist shots. It looks great, but how does it wear? While the old watch was fine, this watch being slightly smaller is even better. Now, if you're used to a bigger watch, don't worry, this one really jumps out at you because of the dial and because of the sheer surface area of metal that you're looking at. But if you're worried that it might be too big, I, again, don't. 44 lug-to-lug -lug is great, and the bracelet features articulated quick-release end links. 
And you can see here, this is it on the two different clasp options, both divers and butterfly. In theory, I would opt for the divers clasp, but I went back and forth on my 04 and I've ended up just leaving it on the butterfly. There are actually enough adjustment possibilities here because of the half links. But then again, it's there for you if you like the look or the wear of an adjustable clasp. And that's it on wrist, low and loose. It's very comfortable, as I said, smooth bracelet and undercuts to the case itself. You can see I'm wearing all black today. I don't really have to dress up in too many bright colors. I think the watch is taking care of that for me. Moans and niggles. Well, I've said a couple of times already, I haven't seen anything else quite like this on the market. And that suggests no matter how good this watch is, it's only ever gonna be a bit of a niche piece. I don't think it has mass appeal in the way that the DRZ03 Diver has, for example. Sergio has only committed to making a small number of these anyway, so he's clearly not aiming to sell 10,000 of them. And choose your dial color carefully. You can see again from these wrist shots just how much presence this watch has. Have a think about whether burnt orange or purple might just tip it over the edge for you personally and have a think about how much attention you want the watch on your wrist to get. Of course, you could wear this as your only watch and therefore your everyday watch. It has the right specs to do that and it has the hardness coating, sapphire, decent water resistance, a good loom. But I think for most people, it's gonna be more of an occasional wear piece. And for that reason, once you've finished thinking about color, you should think about the date complication as well and whether or not you want to have a date or no date. It is a right pain in the ass having to set a date every time you wear a watch. That's why I now prefer no date models myself. But I told you at the beginning and I'll tell you again at the end, I'm a big fan of this brand in general and this watch in particular. Unique design, great specifications, highly sought after used, so we're likely to hold its value very well and very fairly priced initially anyway, considering that you're getting something that is genuinely artisanal in its own way. I think you could rock up to a red bar event or a get together, something like that, wearing one of these, knowing that in terms of design, the DRZ02R can hold its own against any watch at any price. And that's probably the biggest compliment that I could pay it. So there you have it. The looks are not going to be for everyone, of course, but I think this is another pretty special release from Dorenzo. The fact that they are still charging well under a thousand US dollars for these is remarkable considering the design and considering the build quality. I don't think there is another big brand or micro brand that offers such a unique look this nicely made for any less cash than Dorenzo are currently charging. And can we have more burnt orange in 2024, please? Thanks very much. If you like Sergio's designs, and you must do if you've made it to this end of the video, why not check out one of his others? Thanks for watching. I hope to see you all again in the future.